Hi, I'm Erin with Hypothesis, and today we're going to talk about how you're going to add a hypothesis-enabled reading to D2L Brightspace if D2L Brightspace is the LMS that you are using at your school. Let me go ahead and share my screen, and we'll talk about the steps you need to take to make sure your hypothesis-enabled reading gets into D2L. Now, the first thing you need to note is that we have a help article that walks you through all of this. You can see the web address or the URL for this help article at the top. If you cannot find it, just go to hypothesis.is, search D2L, and you'll easily find the article. You're going to need this article because there is a URL we're going to use in this article to add a hypothesis-enabled reading to D2L. Let's go ahead and go over to our D2L account. Once you're in your D2L course, make sure you choose the model where you would like to add the hypothesis-enabled reading. In this case, I chose annotated readings as my module. I'm going to select Create New, and then I'm going to choose External Tool Activity. This is crucial. You must choose External Tool Activity. Title your reading whatever you would like. In this case, I'm going to call it what I really want. Now, this is the part where you're going to go back to that help article. You're going to scroll down to the part that says add title and hypothesis LTI URL. That would be number three. Select the URL, hit command C or control C if you're on a PC. Go back to your D2L instance, hit command V or control V and select create and insert. Now you have a choice. Are you going to add a web page or a PDF as the reading your students will use to annotate together? If you use a web page, it must be publicly available, which means it does not have a username, password, or paywall. If you choose a PDF, you must choose PDF from Google Drive. Of course, select your Google Drive account. And just to note, if that PDF lives on your device, you can choose Upload as your option. That PDF does not have to start in Google Drive. In this case, my document lives in my drive, so I'm going to go ahead and select the document I'd like to use. Choose Select. And now the document appears within D2L. I will tell you that the best way to view any reading with hypothesis enabled is to open it in a new page or to make it larger using this option here. So go ahead and select full screen and your annotations should appear on the right. It's quite simple. Make sure you save that URL uh, to add hypothesis as an external tool to your D2L instance. As always, let us know if you have any questions and we are happy to help.